Hello chaps, now it's time for build update number oh trying to get comfortable. But it's time for a build update number three. And uh, build update number three is basically getting the painting done. Yep, so I've started the painting. I'm doing the uh, interior first. Obviously you don't start on the outside and work in, you start on the inside and work out. because uh, there's assembly needed and other bits and pieces. So I've started it on the uh, interior, I got the base colour down, uh, started work on a lot of the uh, little fiddly bits that go inside, all the uh, you know the details. Um, just checked there on Google Images and uh, I got one of the colours wrong. So when I show you, don't go, oh the colour that's wrong. But uh, yeah, I the seat's brown and they should be black. And I've checked it on loads and loads of pictures and loads and loads of pictures. There, the seats are black. Okay, that's the driver's seat, the uh, commander's little seat, and the other little seat in the middle. Um, the seats themselves would be the uh, interior colour because they have pads on them, and the pads would be black. But I don't have the pads uh, for them. Um, I'm not going to bother making them either. Why? I just not going to bother. Simple. Don't want to. Leave it there. And I started working on a few of the figures. Okay, um, I have one guy half painted. I have one guy. Uh, well, I have two chaps made, uh, and I have another fella started, and another guy to go. So I'm kind of getting there with the figures bit by bit. Um, I'm more kind of worried about getting the interior all boxed off and getting that all sorted, and get, well, getting it where, where I'm happy with it. Okay. Um, also, what I want to do is, I want to get um, I want to check on interior pictures, and there's loads of them there. There's loads of them there. Joe sent me some a fabulous one as well of the interior of it, and uh, there's a little mechanism with a with a it's a, it's for opening and closing the back door. It's not on the kit, um, and. It's going to be simple, I'll just scratch build it, but I can't really do it until I've got sort of the exterior painted and then kind of, it's awkward because it, the only way I can make it is that the door is going to be kind of kept open. And for painting the exterior, I don't want it open, I want it closed so I can paint the exterior without getting paint inside. So uh, it's going to be awkward, but I'm going to make that little tight, a tiny little thing with a, with a cable running out of it. Um, so I'm going to get that made up. Um, I won't be able to start on the exterior for a while. Why? I'll tell you why. I ordered the paints on a Tuesday. Yes, from modelhobbies.co.uk. Um, I ordered a, a, a fine batch of paint from them. Uh, on the Thursday, I got an email telling me that they were dispatched. He pieces, John. So I was expecting them to say on Monday or the Tuesday. That was this week, Monday or Tuesday. Didn't happen. Today's Saturday. Still no sign of them. So hopefully I'll get them Monday or Tuesday. Hopefully Monday. So I can get the exterior of this started up. So anyway, let's get down to the bench. Let's have a look at how far I've gotten. I'll show you a couple of little bits and pieces. Um, one or two things that I'll show you that I want to get to check out to make sure that I've got them right and um, walk away from there. So let's have a look down, let's uh, see how far I've gotten and uh, just have a look. Right, so we're going to start with this but I'm just going to set a pointy stick. That'll do, that'll do. Um, as I said, I got the colours of them wrong. They should be black, not brown. I kind of went off on my own there and I did them brown. Uh, I thought they looked nice, but unfortunately they're black. Okay. Um, there's that interior colour that I used. It's um, cockpit green, and it's about as close as I can get to what I've seen. Um, I'm happy with the uh, interior colour. I really am. So um, now there's a couple of decals to go on the inside of that. So they're all, that's almost ready for the decals and that. Um, I'm not going to weather it too much because I don't want to get it too dark. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going when I get the bl all the colours done and the decals on, I'm happy enough with that. 
I'm going to gloss coat it. Then I'm going to give it a very, very light black wash. Okay, and the black wash will make little panels like this just just stick out a little bit better and then dull coat it and uh, hopefully that will be the interior okay because like I said I don't want it too weathered I don't want it too dark because you I mean I'm not going to leave the top open so I want to be able to that you can see in through the uh, the hatches that are open and see at the, you know, at the back and everything else that it, that it is painted up and it is uh, all nicely done okay right we'll come around to the engine compartment Follow the instructions or the uh, the color scheme that uh, it, 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 it gave me. Um, the rocker covers here, I have seen them in a kind of a, a reddish color, so I might do them with the um, that hull red color. Okay, I might do, I might very well do. I um, haven't decided yet. I might even just paint them red, you know, I don't know. Um, that's the engine compartment because I'm going to have the front little hatch open okay so we get to see the uh, the parts of the interior there of that so that's the uh, the base part of it we've got then we've got the, uh, the, the the tub section okay I've got the uh, the radios and the controls in and done the fire extinguisher um this side then I just painted the interior slightly and the uh that box at the back green. So that's all I've done with that painting. As you can see it looks nice. Right, and some of the bits and pieces that are going into it, okay. We've got the uh driver's seat again, wrong colours, should be black, not brown. Um we've got a couple of backpacks okay that are going into it now they've been painted with nato green and given a black wash so now they just have to be dry brushed um just to kind of highlight a few bits and pieces on them i'm happy enough with them i have two of them one and two the backpacks are going to be in there all right we've got a, a little line of ammo boxes okay for these i used a dark green or black oh should I say black green XF27 okay um, and I've given them a, a black wash just to highlight the uh, the handles and the clasps there at the front okay and the sides and things so I'm happy with them a little bit on the top of them there okay there's the uh, the ammo box little line of ammo boxes um, we've got the driver's controls okay they're done uh, we've got a, a jerry can inside a water can canister uh, that didn't come with the kit that actually came with another kit that I had but it was a nice and small one so I can have that beside the, um, the, the the water container now I know somebody told me that it's a water container okay but I'm going to um, paint it kind of a silvery colour, so it's going to be a, uh, a burko boiler. <laughs> They're having their tea and coffee, and it's a hot water heater, and that's the the, uh, the water canister then for filling that, so that's going to be beside that. Okay. Um, what else have I done? Yes, uh, I've done some work on some figures. So let's have a look at the couple of figures that I've started and been playing around with. Haven't any finished yet. Um, we start with the worst and or the the least done, and we work our way up. Okay, so you've got our, this chap here. Okay, these guys are from the uh, a Trumpler set. Uh, they're U.S. Marines in Iraq, 2003. But I'm not going to put all their webbing on them and things. So I don't want to make them look too American because they're not going to be American. That yoke on his back, it's a Camelback. Uh, water. Um, and says that's the, the water you're going to you know, fill it with water and you can suck away there at the water keep him nice and hydrated okay so uh he's one chap um needs to be cleaned off and finished and he's just started him all right we've got another guy from that set and he's uh he, his construction is finished okay so a little bit of filling needed around the armpits and things okay He's standing there with an M16 with a, a grenade launcher on the bottom of it. Um, 
Yeah, it's an M16, but the Americans aren't the only ones who use the M16. A lot of countries use the M16, okay? So, um, he's, uh, he's going to be there as well on the road. I'm happy enough with him. Okay, we've got the uh, commander figure. He's all finished off, ready for painting. Okay, he's going to have a blue helmet and the uh, camouflage uniform. Okay, and I was wondering, right, what kind of camouflage am I going to go for? So I made up a camouflage scheme. Yep, I made up a camouflage scheme. And there's the camouflage scheme, scheme that I've after making up. Now, if that zoom in properly. Please zoom in properly. Come on, behave yourself. Maybe just a little bit out of it. There we go. Okay, there's our camouflage screen. Scheme. There's, um, let me see, one, two, three, four, five colours in it. Okay, I'll show you the colours now in a sec. But um, that's the camouflage scheme I'm going to go with. I'm happy with that. I like that. Okay, looks modern enough. And he's got his, if you remember, I put him sitting in the back and he's leaning on his helmet. So there's his helmet. Okay, so he's going to be resting on his helmet. Okay. So, there's his blue UN helmet, and that's the, the blue I'm going with. Okay, I'll show you the colours now in a sec, what I'm using. Right, for the uh, camouflage scheme, I started off with the base colour of that one, XF67, NATO green. Then I used a dab, a couple of dabs of... Where are we? Just trying to find the colours. There we go. XF51 khaki drab. Okay, so there are my two kind of green colours. I used um, a brown, NATO brown. I used this Zandri dust as my uh, sort of light sandy colour. And a little bit of black, okay, and the black I used was this one here. Uh, War paints, Mac black. Grand array of uh, manufacturers there from Tamiya, War paints, and Citadel. But that was uh, that's the colours I used for his camouflage. And the blue I used is this this one here. It's uh, enchanted blue, okay. It's an old Citadel colour, and I have it there for some some while and. I just looked at it and it's still perfect so that's what I, I said I'd use that okay nice good blue color okay so that's the color I'm using for their helmets and things um, most of the paints I use are to me okay because I find them best for spraying um, you can kind of just top them up with the uh, with the with the uh, to me thinners top up the bottle when you're ready to go you don't have to go um, mixing each time although I have used this in uh, spraying where you've got to kind of mix it um, the war paints I've never actually sprayed with that but apparently you can spray directly with this okay you don't have to go mixing it um, and for the red then I've used this I've used it's a uh, it's an old battered tin <laughs> it's red it's a uh, glass red and it's um, as far as I know it's um, it's a Ravel color okay I'm not a hundred percent sure but it's red anyway and it's, it's uh, it, it works it does the job it does the trick okay because I do have um, an army paints red and it just comes up very kind of pure bit washy if you know what I mean it just takes a couple of layers to actually get on and when you want it on and you don't want to have to kind of redo it two or three times to get the color right I use the um, I use the glass paint because it works that little bit better it takes a little bit longer to dry but you know it, it, it does the job it does the job okay so my next step now is to get the flesh done in this guy and his hair and his boots okay his boots are gonna be black and he's got a watch in his hand so that's got to be done as well okay so I'm gonna finish off with this guy I'm going to repaint the seats on that. Um, also, I have seen in one one of the photographs, and I've been trying to find the bloody picture since. Um, this this strap here, on the um, I, I presume it's the fuel fuel can. I'm not a hundred percent sure, so I don't know. Um, but um, 
I have seen them in a different color okay all that stuff there in a different color so I might do them um, I'm just gonna find that photograph again and um, I can get that painted up also interior wise I've got the um, there's the roof okay and I've got the interior of that done the straps done with um, dark green um, these little radio panels there paint them dark green as well so there was nothing really much just the basic colors down in that uh, the interior of these uh, vision blocks I'm going to have to paint a bit of silver paint that will do them I'll be happy enough with that okay and the handle there has got a little bit of black on the handle so just a little bit of touch ups and small little fiddly bits to be done on that there's the uh, main inside cover nothing, to, nothing really to do to that because there's nothing goes on it that goes there in the front of that and we've got the uh, the the rest of the engine okay it's the uh, the, the fan and the um, the radiator and things so they're painted up as well um, I used grey light grey on that and uh, a nice silver okay or flat aluminium XF16 there we go go on flat aluminium X XF16 that's my uh, my silver colour that I use and that's the colour two colours I used on that so that then will be going there like that I can open and close then the uh, engine the engine is going to be open like that so you are going to get to see a bit of engine okay so uh, also there's a hole open yoke for that which I can't go putting in yet it goes onto here and onto that it's just a little hold open bar can't um, install that yet because same idea again when it comes to the painting I want to have that down and closed so I can paint it all white get on my UN going to be a U on that side and an N there um, just all little fiddly bits loads of little fiddly bits to get done on those so I'm going to carry on with them and get the interior all finished off get the figures done get them finished off making that figure those two no, sorry finish off making this figure here there's another chap then to be kneeling down okay once I got the figures done then and painted I'll be happy with that um, hopefully by then I'll have the, uh, the the paints will have come from model hobbies and I can start on the uh, get the interior all boxed off get it sealed up and then start on the exterior okay now one thing I, although I can do is I can do the, uh, the tracks okay now they're just dry fitted I haven't actually glued them in place yet or uh, heated them into place yet but uh, <laughs> it's like as if you don't need to they're, 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 they're not going to fall off I've been playing around with them and everything and I can't even find the joint there's the joint and it, it's one of those things if it's that broke don't fix it so what's got to be done with these are I'm going to give them the uh, dark iron metal colour um, give them a bit of a, a rust wash okay then clean off the centre section because they're black rubber going to be black and they're going to be rubber pads so I'm going to clean off then the centre section and, and probably have to repaint the black rubber on those so therefore that that would be the tracks done and I can get the tracks then put aside for later until the, the final assembly and then I got once all that is painted and everything is done and all the painting is done and the, fig, the figures are all done then then I got to start of uh, figuring out how I'm going to do a die off it okay so um, it's going trying to make it as small as I can without making it cramped without, you know without looking wrong so I'm gonna have a road anyway a road junction so I only have the um, the big the big just big square lumps of concrete okay that are they got the um, bit of rebar on the top hooks and they're just plopped into place and the idea is then that you can't drive straight through you have to kind of wind your way through the checkpoint so you have to slow down and uh, the troops then sort of stand behind them okay so I have to have a road but a road that's going to be wide enough to have that um, system in place with the three big square blocks of concrete um, and then the uh, 
the APC then sort of over a bit covering off but I have to make room for it so it's going to be it's going to be big enough but not too big the smaller I can make it the, the better it is for me because that means I can display it if it's too big it's a case of I won't be able to display it I just have to make it up and go hey look at this and then take it apart which I don't want to do I want to be able to be um, display this because I have a nice spot for it and I'm going to display this you never know I might move one or two things and <laughs> make the spot a little bit bigger so I'll leave it at that I'll get the rest of the interior done I get the figures done and we we'll get back and we'll have a look at that hopefully before the weekend is out I'll have the rest of the uh, uh, of the interior done I also have a medical bag okay which I'm working on so I gotta paint that white first and put in the because uh, the, the white paint I have isn't very um, isn't very thick at the moment so what I did was I, I painted it green first the back the, the backpack and then tried to put in a little white dot white circle and it didn't work out it did not work out so what I did was I, I painted the whole thing white and I put a red cross on it and then going to paint the, the green on afterwards paint it on afterwards so there's going to be my little medical bag where I'm going to put it I don't know I'll probably have it in there it's going to be in there somewhere okay so like I said next clip hopefully I'll have all the interior done the tracks done and uh, we can again get started on the exterior okay all right so I have it all finished as in the uh, interior is done and uh, the outside already for painting well as good as already for painting so to clean off here a bit where I used a bit of uh, sprue goo filler on the sides that needs to be cleaned off and I need to make my aerial okay I have my guitar string there for the aerial um, I've done my tracks okay as you can see I have a nice rusty effect on the sides, nice, nicely looking, metallic looking, and I have the uh, the rubber centers all ready to go. So I'm happy with them. There's my two tracks; they're ready to go. And I said I have my outside done as well, and I've it all taped up so I don't get any white paint on the inside. Um, I have a close up. I did say I was going to show it to you before I close it all up, and what I did was I was on the hangout one of the nights chatting away with the lads and I just kind of carried on and I ended up bloody well closing the whole lot up and it was the following day that I went oh shit I was going to show everybody the inside without the top on but uh, we can do it anyway okay with by opening the doors I have it all weathered and everything as you can see okay I have the weathering done these are just two bits of blue tech to keep it closed there while I'm painting on the uh, the white exterior but if we take a look inside, what I'll do is I'll open the hatches so we can uh, give it an extra bit of light. So you get to see what you what you will be able to see. Okay, so I get the light in there. We can see that we have our little figure inside. He's got his uh, his weapon. He's leaning on his on a, a blue he UN helmet, and he's got a bottle of water. He's having a drink. Okay, the interior is all nicely done. Okay, the floor is all weathered, and I have the uh, the drop door hatch, whatever you want to call it. That's all weathered as well. Okay, if we can look down through the hatches, we'll be able to see a bit more. Hopefully, we'll be able to see the weapon, the seats, and things, and that for now is going to be going to be a chap standing in there so we're not really going to get to see much down there but I have enough light in that you can see inside and you'll be able to see that it's uh, it's got a nice interior to it okay so I'm going to close that up that's all ready for painting like I said just just want to tidy up the uh, the little bits of sprue glue that I did um, I have the all the wheels drive sprockets and return rollers and god knows but they're not return rollers but the uh, idler wheels they're on their little sticks all ready for painting okay and I have the rest of the figures done yes I've got them finished thank god so we've got our chap that's in the uh, turret with the 50 cal okay he's done there he is right. I'm not the best at figures, I will admit I am not the best at figures, but I'm happy enough with them. Okay. 
with the camouflage pattern and everything else. Okay, that is a representation of a UN badge. <laughs> Not so good. Okay, right, here's our, our second figure. Okay, and I said he's got the uh, blue UN helmet, the uh, blue armor jacket, flak jacket, personal protection equipment, whatever you want to call it. Different armies call it different things. We call them flak jackets in the Irish Army. Um, I don't think it's what the official term is, but it's what they're commonly known as. Um, goes back to the old days of. Uh, I think I'm not 100% sure, but I'm always think it goes back to World War One. Okay, but uh, we'll call it World War Two, and all they're designed to do is really is is to small fragments and things like that just like the helmets do you mean a helmet a military helmet is not bulletproof as much as people would like to think it is bulletproof it is not bulletproof it's to protect your head from falling objects and small shrapnel and things like that um the armored jackets flat jackets whatever like i said they'll, they'll stop small caliber uh rounds they won't stop anything, you know. They won't stop. They wouldn't stop a, a bullet from one of these. Um, well, they would at say two hundred yards or whatever, but in close quarters, it wouldn't stop it. Um, you can. Some of them do come that you can slot in extra uh, armor plates. Um, they're kind of a ceramic plates. They can pop into it. Um, then it just comes a little bit more. Uh, ballistic resistant how does that sound we won't call it bulletproof we'll call it ballistic resistant okay so he's got his uh, weapon is done he's got a little bit of uh, a bit a little bit of webbing on ammo holders little kind of a poncho thing there in the water bottle and this chap here has um, the camelback water carrier on the back as well of him so I'm happy with that guy okay I just look just put the tiny bits of blue tech to keep them onto the uh, onto the bottles. It's handy. Okay, here's our second chap. Um, same idea again, except this fella has a uh, another kind of a webbing type jacket over it. Okay, as you see the straps in the back and all of that. Okay, like I said, I'm not the best of uh, figure painters. But I get by, I get by, and I'm happy with what I have, you know. I would like him to be better, of course I would, but uh, the more I try and the more I try to improve them, the worse they seem to get. So I get them to a certain level. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I just leave it. Because, like I said, the more you try to do to it, the worse they will get. Well, for me anyway, I, um, that, that's how it was. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's what happens to me. Okay, and we got our final figure. Okay, our kneeling down chap. Okay, he's uh, he's got his uh, minimi there. Okay, belt fed. He's got a in a nice um, box there. Feed box feeder. Uh, he's got the um, the right across the the first aid pouch with him, and a few other little bits of webbing. Okay, um, happy enough it is. Uniform. I will. I. I. I might try another little bit in the faces. I'll just see because uh, they are very, very plain, and I normally do get them a little bit better than that. So I'm going to go and give them another, another attempt. I might give them a kind of a blackish wash once they're um, once they're sitting for a while because it might, it might, it might kind of just darken up and pick out some of the uh, the details on the face because. What happened was I did them with the Agrax Earth shade and it came out too dark so I kind of dry brushed them off with another bit of flesh which um, made it even whiter looking so that's why I said just stop 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 I, so I will I, I go back and I'll do another little bit to try and get them a little bit better than that because um, I know I can do better than that I know I can do better than that face wise the rest of the body the figure itself I'm totally happy with okay so the next step for me now, like I said, is to get the outside painted. 
and finally today today Friday two and a half weeks later my paint has come yes my, my order of paint has come from model hobbies and funnily enough it came and uh, what you notice is the box that it came in okay I'm ordered I order this now from model hobbies are code at UK they're based in a big warehouse in uh, Stoke and Trent but this came from Bum, bum, bum. the Netherlands okay which is probably why it took two weeks but it came from the Netherlands um, happy enough anyway I got, I got them I got them it wouldn't, didn't have to wait too too long even though you could say two and a half weeks is long enough but uh, I did save I saved quite nicely because in my local hobby shop and I normally I, I, I'd love to be able to support my local hobby shop but as, as he explained he can't afford to sell them at these prices so I'm kind of stuck to them in, in my local hobby shop I pay three euro fifty per for each one of these okay um, and at three fifty that's what three six nine ten eleven twelve twelve twenty fifteen eighteen nineteen twenty that's twenty one quid a box okay twenty one euro we call it, I call it quid because it's just the force I have it that's twenty one quid a box so that's twenty one there we go, there's another, another box for me. That's 42. That's 42 euro. It would cost me to buy. There's another 4 there. So we got 42 and 3, 6, 9, another 12, 13, 14, another 14, which makes it 56, 56 euro. And I got um, within me extra thin cement, which he charges six fifty for. So uh, where did I say I was? Fifty two and six is fifty eight, fifty eight fifty. So it would cost me in my local hobby shop that would, this lot would have cost me fifty eight fifty. So we call it round it up. We will round it up because I get to get the bus in. So we round it up at sixty quid. Okay. I got this from Model Hobbies, like I said, and including delivery, it came to far to 30, 37 euro. Okay, so that's a saving of twenty odd euro for me. So I'm happy enough with that. I didn't mind waiting the uh, the extra little bit. So, like I said, it pays the shop around. I would like to buy them from my local shop, but unfortunately the prices I, I just couldn't afford to pay those prices it's ridiculous well I could afford to pay those prices but I wouldn't have had as much as what I have so anyway I'm all set now for the next couple of models I'm going to leave this video at this um, the next video now I'm going to do the outside get it all finished off and uh, hopefully the next video will have the uh, basically the final reveal of, the, of this part of it, okay of the uh, M113 and uh, the next step then for that is to make a little dio for it now speaking of the said same dio i was originally going to do a reasonably big size because i wanted to get a road and the whole lot inside and then I've, and then i got the uh, figures made and the figures don't really suit a checkpoint so what i'm thinking of doing is um a kind of a patrol sitting out from the vehicle Okay, so they'll be kind of coming out along like that. Then I can keep it much smaller. I can do a nice little bit of uh, a wall or a tree or something. Okay, um, so we're going to go with that one. The the actual checkpoint itself has gone by the wayside, and it's going to be a UN patrol now. So, until the next one, lads. Stay safe. Enjoy your modelling. Don't forget to uh, stay tuned on Monday. We have the bum with Seth and Abby. We'll be doing our bum. And uh, hopefully I have this nearly finished by then. Because it is Friday and I've got the weekend to get it done. And I'll get the uh, first layer of white on tomorrow. Actually I'll get both layers on. What I do is, uh, because I'm going all the one colour and because it's such a light colour, I give it a light kind of a misting colour first. Leave that dry in for an hour or two. And then give it its build up the white rather than trying to build it all up in one go. Which will cause it to kind of drip. And I don't want drippy marks. I don't want drippy marks. I want it nice and flat. 
so by giving it doing building it up nice and slowly hopefully i won't get the drips so like i said i'm gonna leave it at that lads i'll catch you on monday for the bomb um in the meantime have a nice weekend enjoy your modeling don't do too much don't do anything i wouldn't do not that that's much and uh, i'll see you then so in the meantime go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it this is john signing off and i'll catch you on monday